Hey guys! Hey guys! We're back with another Supergirl review, and this time we're reviewing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 5, titled How Does She Do It? If you haven't seen the episode yet, and you want to avoid any spoilers, you're going to want to skip this video and come back later, because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Okay, now this episode was originally supposed to air last week, but after the events in Paris, they decided to switch the episodes. And after seeing this episode, the change in the dynamic, or the change in the relationship between Kara and Kat makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So Kat wins an award, and she's having trouble finding a babysitter for her son, and Kara volunteers, which is really hilarious because she she picks him up from school and then basically doesn't watch him at all. Yeah, she basically no. She leaves him with Wynn all day, and the kid ends up going on a train that has a bomb on it. <laughs> <laughs> because she wasn't watching him. Yeah. And he has a crush, a major, major crush on Supergirl. And so the fact that he's, you know, he's spent some, uh, some time with Kara because he mentions that they played video games and stuff like that, and he actually got to meet Supergirl, that it brought him out of his shell. And I think because he started to come out of his shell, that is the reason why Kara got to keep her job. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, I don't, I don't think uh, Kat was very happy with Kara at first. Yeah. And speaking of Kat, she is really starting to grow on me now. Yeah. For first two episodes, I didn't like her, but now I really am starting, like, start starting to. Also in this episode, we get some more insight into the relationship, or broken relationship, between Lucy Lane and James Olsen. Yeah, and now, last episode with them makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, when did they get together? And yeah. yeah. Um, and what's what's crazy is that... Kara is kind of the reason they get yeah. back together, even though she didn't want them to. And her yeah. sister told her not to. She's like, stay out of it. And she doesn't because she's just a good person. She yeah. wants to help him. And she says something to James where she was like, you know, you have to figure that out. Otherwise, it's not fair to whoever comes next. And she, I think she was referring to herself. And I think James thought so, too. Because, mm -hmm. you know. But... I, in a way, it's true. Like, he needs to figure out this thing mm -hmm. before he can move on. And by the end of the episode, James and Lucy have reconciled. Yes. And we know from last week's episode that they are full-on back together. Yes. Which is really sad for Kara because she is head over heels for James. Yeah. I, poor Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because he's head over heels for Kara. Which, I mean, I don't really like him anyway, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think James and um, Lucy are going to be together for, like, no. very long. I think they need to see their relationship through to the conclusion, whereas before they kind of stopped in the middle and neither one were satisfied with the end. Um, they need to end it amicably in order for him to be able to move on. Yeah. And also we get a lot more of Maxwell Lord in this episode. And I was kind of on the fence on what to think about him uh, prior to this episode, but now it definitely seems like he is going to be another villain yeah. for, for the show. And Maxwell Lord, I did some research, so I'm not really familiar with that character, but it seems like he, he goes from being you know hero to villain depending on what you're reading or watching, because there's, there's cartoons where he's one of the heroes, there's cartoons where he's a villain, and it definitely seems like he's going to be a villain here. And then I think he's one of the reasons why the Justice League International actually originally got together. He, like, orchestrated that. So it seems like he kind of, depending on where you are in the various DC universes, Maxwell Lord ha plays a different role, which is interesting, but also a little confusing, because maybe he's not such a bad guy, mm -hmm. but it definitely seems like he is. Yeah, it does seem like he is going to be a bad guy, but I don't think he's going to be one of the like evil bad guys. It's He's got a vision or an idea, and he is going to see it through, and he doesn't really care about the consequences, so he's almost... You know, so some of the things he does are very hero-like. You know, he develops a lot of technology that is beneficial for the world. So mm -hmm. in that sense, he is a good person. But then whatever he's doing with Kara, he's risking innocent lives and such to test her. 
So, you know... He's a very much an ends just to buy the mean, justify the means yeah. kind of a guy, and sometimes the the means are very unsavory and dangerous. Yeah, so it's it's not like he's a straight up evil villain. He, I, I think he means well. He just doesn't care how he gets there. He reminds me a little bit of Lex Luthor, but not quite as evil as yeah, Lex Luthor. Yeah, yeah. He's like Lex's less uh, evil brother. <laughs> and then there's Hank, uh, Hank Henshaw, who I still don't trust. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. is off with that guy. And then there's Kara's aunt, who's still out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So now we have three villains, one of whom is still kind of in the shadows, being Hank Henshaw. And, uh, wow, so it seems like there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in Supergirl. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, I really enjoyed the episode. I would love to know what you guys thought about the episode, so let's talk about it down in the comments. Let us know if there's anything we missed, something we should have talked about that we didn't, something we got wrong, because there very well <laughs> could be, because we are not that well-versed in Supergirl lore and that kind of stuff. So let us know if there's anything that we need to correct. Also, if you enjoyed this video, and we certainly hope you did, be sure to let us know by clicking that like button and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.